conversions. In this video, we're going to determine how many yards are in 20 kilometers. And we're going to use conversion fractions. Now, conversion fractions are going to contain equivalent numbers. in the numerator and the denominator. So equivalent numbers are kind of um, a different thing to think about. But you might refer to them as just plain old kind of conversion factors. So that could say, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. They're essentially the same thing because one kilometer does equal 1,000 meters. They're saying the same thing, but they're in different units. Likewise, you say three feet equals one yard. If we wrote those out in distances, they're equal, although we just write them differently. Another one would be like one meter equals 3.2808 feet. So, whenever we deal with these numbers, we are going to have them placed in the fractions so that existing units will cancel and the desired units are left. So whenever we do this, um, just to notice that sometimes multiple conversion fractions are needed. So, whenever we think of this, let's try and do our 20 kilometer one. So 20 kilometers, we want to get it first just to something a little smaller. So maybe meters is a good way to go. So our equivalent numbers would be one kilometer in 1,000 meters. So this fraction essentially is equal to one because the numerator and denominator mean the same thing, simply in different units. But we don't want to leave it in just meters, we want it in yards. So we know the conversion between meters and feet, so let's use that. So one meter is 3.2808 feet. And lastly, we can have three feet is one yard. Now we simply multiply through, or divide, depending on um, where the numbers are. So when we do 20 times 3.2808 divided by 3 times 1,000, we're going to get 21,872 yards. So it's a rather large number in yards, although it wasn't a very large number in kilometers. And this is one example why sometimes things are wrote in certain units because it's easier to deal with. So now let's kind of think of a different type of example and that is conversions that don't work with conversion fractions. So convert 33 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. So the conversion is not based on multi 
yeah, based on multiplication. But it's based on addition. So you can have conversion formulas. So in this way we could say that Kelvin equals Celsius plus 273.15. So this is kind of a formula that says whatever you have in Celsius you plug in. So in our case 33, you add 273.15 and that will give you what your number is in Kelvin. So in Kelvin it equals 306.15. This also works with the Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion. So these things you want more of equations rather than your fractions. So this is all about different types of conversions.